Let's talk about how to correctly select a camping sleeping pad. Recently I went on a night camping trip to test a sleeping liner and uh, made a video about it. In the comment section many of you mentioned the potential of unsuitability of the sleeping pad that I was using and uh, the moment I came home I already knew that I would need a new sleeping pad. But there was a major question. Major how to select the proper one. After that trip, I studied a lot of information sources to find out how to correctly select a sleeping pad. And I want to share that information with you, so it will be easier for you to select your sleeping pad according to your needs. The major problem when you searching for a sleeping pad is buying one for the wrong season. For example, if you buy a summer version instead of a winter one, you will definitely suffer during the cold nights. There are many types of uh, sleeping pads, such as air pads, self-inflating pads and even closed cell foam mats. All of them have pros and cons, but uh, they have something in common. Something that will help you understand if that sleeping pad will be suitable for your needs or not. And uh, that common thing is R-value rating. The R-value of a sleeping pad indicates its thermal resistance or insulating ability. It measures how well the pad can resist the transfer of heat between your body and the ground. As you know, during sleep your body generates heat. And uh, the goal of a sleeping pad is to prevent that generated heat from being transferred into the ground. I will not get into the details of how exactly measurements are happening, but there is a scale, usually ranging from 1 till 6 or even more, and higher R values indicate better insulation. So, how do you choose the proper sleeping pad based on R value? Basically, starting from 0 till 1 are one season pads designed for warm air and ground temperatures. From 1.5 till 2 are designed for two seasons with the cooler nights and possible ground frost. Uh, from 2.5 till 3.5 are designed for three seasons with guaranteed cold nights. And from 3.5 till 5 or even higher are designed for four seasons with temperature constantly below freezing. But there is one last small tricky part. The ratings that I just mentioned are meant for warmer sleepers. So before you choose, try to remember, if you are the type of person who sleeps with your leg out of the blanket, or if you like to stay under the blanket the whole night, and if you prefer to stay under the blanket, then maybe you are a cold sleeper. And in this case, the ratings will be interpreted... Oh, I will break my tongue. And in this case, ratings will be interpreted. 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 And in this case, ratings will be interpreted differently for you. From 0 till 1.5 will be one season. From 2.0 till 2.9 will be two seasons, and from 3 to 4 will be three seasons, and from 4.5 till 5 and even higher will be four seasons sleeping pads. Now you have the information to understand which sleeping pads are best for you. In summary, when selecting a sleeping pad, consider the R value along with your camping conditions and personal preferences to ensure the comfortable and insulated night sleep. And of course, don't forget that the sleeping pad is only a part of your sleeping system. So don't think that only one layer of the sleeping pad, even with an R value of 6 plus, will save you during cold and freezing nights. If you want to know more about the sleeping system, subscribe to the channel. Soon I will make an explanatory video about it. And uh, if you want to enjoy a silent hiking movie with beautiful winter wood scenery, click here.